Hi guys, this is my most requested video ever since uploading my bedroom makeover back in June. I've gotten a ton of requests to do a full apartment tour and this is it. So I really hope that you enjoy. Real quick before we get started, I did want to mention that I do have an apartment tour already up on this channel from about a year ago. That one is like super, super detailed. So if you are curious at all during this video as to like where every single piece of decor is from or what's in certain drawers or cabinets in my apartment, definitely check out that apartment tour. I'm going to link that above as well as down below, but I'm going to do a more like overview, aesthetically pleasing, just like complete apartment tour now that this is completely finished because last year when I uploaded that tour, I still hadn't done the office or the bedroom because there are some things that I won't get into full detail on in this video, such as all of my plants. If you want to know more about my plants, I just uploaded a full plant tour as well. And then I also have an Amazon's favorites video that takes you through room by room of my apartment with every single item that I've gotten off of Amazon and why I love it. So if there are certain things that you see that I don't mention where it's from, highly recommend checking out my unique Amazon favorites video. I wasn't planning on mentioning this, but I also have two videos about the move out process, including a moving into this apartment vlog, how I moved out, you know, at this age and that journey, and then also like tips and advice to moving out for the first time and like how to do it sufficiently. But all of that being said, let's head to the front door of this apartment and get this tour started. All right, and here we are. So we're right outside of my apartment door and I'm excited to show you around. Hi, Marnie. One more thing before we get started because I know people will ask and have asked. This is a two bedroom apartment in Minneapolis. I pay 1050. I've lived here for about two years. When I moved in, rent was 950 and it has gone up since then, which is totally fine because let's be real, it's still such a steal. I think that's all I really had to say. I just want to get this tour started. So give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed. Comment down below. Do you want to show them the apartment? Obviously. Hi. Obviously right now we are outside of my front door. This is the view that I see. Don't mind the cats or the tripod that I'm using to film this. Right when you walk in, this is a quick overview of the space in my apartment. Hi Marnie. You may have noticed this wall behind me. It's where I keep all of my Polaroids. I made this sign. It just says, go make some memories. And those are some of my favorite memories. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to have a shadow in this apartment door. Right when you walk in, I have this four cube organizer. It's awesome for like shoes and scarves, hats, anything you want to hide that you need when you're about to leave. I've got these two little bowls for keys or anything I might need to grab on my way out. And of course, my stay a while key hanger, which I never really use because it's kind of fragile, but I got this off of Urban, really love it. And a cute clock from Target. This is a quick view of my living room. I really love the space. We've got this nice white fuzzy rug, a classic Ikea coffee table, my pink couch, which I love so much. This is a little overview of my living room space. Hi Marnie. The rug is actually from Walmart. I found it online. I was looking forever for a huge white fuzzy rug. It's surprisingly difficult to find one this large. Unfortunately, as you can tell, it's like really hard to keep it in place. It gets moved around a lot, so that's why it has all those lines through it, but we're gonna pretend those are not there. My side table is from Target. We've got my couch from Wayfair. I got it a couple of years ago, so please don't come at me. I know I do no longer support Wayfair. The two lamps are from Target. My my coffee tables from Ikea. I like to keep the space pretty bare and minimal, but I do have just like a couple of coasters, mints from my old job. <laughs> it's like a sentimental thing. I know it's kind of weird and old lady of me to have, but one of my first jobs was being a hostess at a restaurant and it was always my job to refill the mint container at the restaurant. So when the restaurant shut down, I took a bag of mints to remember where I came from and how I started. The other thing on my coffee table I'm actually really excited about as Marnie is modeling over here and it's this beautiful container white roses. It's from the company Rose Forever. They were so sweet and they sent this to me. I absolutely love it. So these roses are super special because they are long lasting preserved roses that last up to like a year. So they're going to look this fresh and smell so beautiful for a year. Marnie really loves it too. I think it adds so much like life and a little bit of luxury to my living room. They were also kind enough to give me a coupon code. So I'm going to link their website down below. And if you want 15% off, definitely use my code. It'll be on the screen right now. They They've got boxes in the shape of circles and squares, and this is a smaller set, but they have a larger one, and they come in a variety of different colors as well. So there's a lot of options there, but Marnie and I really love them. So thanks again to Rose Forever for sending me these. They are so sweet and beautiful. I really, really love them. Something you cannot miss in my living room is this 
bookshelf so it's actually two rows of books i really needed storage for my books i've got the more embarrassing ones behind here like the full pretty little liars book series twilight the sisterhood of the traveling pants my jody picolt obsession so those are hiding behind some other books up here as well the obvious 50k balloon staring you in the face is because i had my 50k photo shoot the other day and i didn't know what to do with the balloons so we are just celebrating it for a little bit here you may also notice this canvas of my cats luna and marnie the company crown and paw actually sent this to me i think it is so funny and adorable so that is now in my living room we've got a ton of plants and hanging plants because it does get some great light from that window i actually found this bookshelf on facebook market which is awesome because i was looking for a ladder bookshelf for a long time for this space i got that beautiful painting from ikea it's actually one of my favorite actual like paintings so it was cool i found it at ikea and then moving to this more extended area Area of the living room. I always wanted to get a nice lounge fainting chair or like a chase to put here so I can read in front of the window. I just haven't found the perfect one yet. So this is like really miscellaneous right now, but we have a side table that I sometimes use if I'm working on the couch. And then I have this little entertainment set for more book collections. I like to collect really old children's books. So that's what I have over there with some plants that are getting awesome sunlight. We've got the cat tree in the corner. And then this rug is from Hay Needle as well. Something you may not know about me or maybe you do because you watch a lot of my content is I really love books and I value old books and collectors items for an example underneath my side table I have this collection of people yearbooks dating all the way back to the year I was born 1995 and they are like staple events that happened that year so 2001 Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston made the cover but they're really fun to look back on there's value in that I think it's super super cool here we have some of my mother's books when she was little that my grandma used to read to me some of these are super super old like from the 60s I even have a book that was my grandmother's when she was little and it has her name in it and the date 1941 so I really value that here are some old books that I own I really love collecting old books the oldest one that I own is from the year 1900 so it's literally a hundred 120 years old. I also love to collect old comic books. So we have a lot of Family Circus, a lot of Heathcliff, Dennis the Menace, Charlie Brown, stuff like that. It's really cool. And then I also have some of my favorite books from my childhood as well that I've kept and held on to. I just wanted to share that because it's something that I think is so cool that I don't think a lot of people know about me or it's something that I want to share more about that I love and that is old books and holding on to things and that value in it. So that is my living room. I almost forgot to show you this side of my living room. If you come in and you're sitting on the couch, we have my TV. I got this entertainment set from Hay Needle. I really, really love it because I get super, super cold and I wanted to make sure I had a certain type of heater. This entertainment set was only like $170 and it has a fireplace with actual heat that comes out of it. This really comes in handy in the winter time and then fall and spring months when my heat may not be on yet in my apartment because I don't have control of that. Um, but it also just like really sets the mood it is so cute and then i like to keep this again very bare and minimal i just have my diffuser and my you know what over there i just can't say her name because she'll turn on i've got two floating shelves from ikea and i finally changed out this letter board it has been a year but i think it is super fitting now that it is september it's september 2nd when i'm filming this and then also next to my couch i like to store my yoga mat and any workout stuff right here so i've got some like leg resistant bands as well and then my old gym bag RIP because of quarantine. I just like to keep easy grab and go items right there as well. If you come over here, my apartment has a ton of storage. So it has like literally a four drawer closet. It's just like this entire wall. So I luckily use this side for major storage of like my entire childhood. I don't have anything left at my parents' place. So I literally have like everything I ever owned in this, including like American Girl dolls and everything from school, from like preschool to graduating and then this is the practical side i'll show you this it's not that bad literally just like shoes luggage jackets a bunch of games and puzzles and then you can see down there it's just like a ton of boxes ton of storage we've got this great mirror hi got it from ikea i love it because i can quickly just make sure that i'm good to go before heading out the door and then you may have seen this in my amazon favorites video i've got the fake ivy hanging here to try to mask like the ugliness of this and make a cute little mirror selfie photo op area and of course another little white rug to match this white rug. That is my living room. I'm really, really satisfied with it. I'm also really blessed to have such a big window that sheds so much light in here. It just warms up my day. Anyway, let's move on to the dining room and kitchen. All I really have to do is turn you this way and 
we're there. Welcome to my dining room. It's kind of small, but it's very cozy. Let me show you around. So stepping out of the living room, this is my dining room. It's very, very busy. A lot of it is for storage, not by choice. It's just a small apartment, you guys. Hi, Luna. Right here, we have one of the first things that I ever completed in this apartment. My little bar cart area. I love the decor and my wine rack, which I use for wine glasses. Down here, this is kind of just for storage right now. I don't use my Keurig anymore. I keep extra coffee and filters here and then charcuterie boards party trays and ram storage down here as well but the bar cart itself is from target i really really love it i've got this cute little table from ikea chairs are from ikea benches from ikea that's a fake cactus and then i do have a real snake plant back there as well but i really really love this table i like the white and the light wood i think it just really matches my apartment and stuff like that trim you know stuff that i can't really control I think it's a good fit. Marnie is demonstrating the cat food tray that I have right here. But this area, it's kind of messy. The actual wall itself is something I'm super proud of. I really, really love it. I love the shelves for like storage and like plants. The shelves down here, I just need something to store extra things in my kitchen. I actually got some hate comments, surprisingly, saying that people do not like this. I don't like it either, you guys. It's just, I had these bookshelves for my teenage bedroom. I needed storage. It's free and efficient, but it does come in handy for like these plants by the window and my Minnesota cork collection. I love this wall as well. This is just a wall sticker from Target. I'm pretty sure everything on the wall right here is from Target, including those. The mirror is from IKEA. Ikea. I unfortunately cannot change out this light fixture. Trust me, I want to so bad, but my landlord says I can't. So over here, I have my wine rack. I love this baby so much. I found it on Hay Needle. It fits perfectly. Like it literally lines up right against that counter. This is where I keep unopened red wine bottles. The cats will like to play underneath it sometimes. So that happens. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, I started bringing home a couple of bottles of wine that I've never tried before so that I can really grow this collection instead of just buying one or two bottles that I do drink. As you can see from the bottom, those are like my favorite. But I just wanna start growing like an eclectic collection and age it and try it later on. I forgot to mention, but this basket is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it's where I store a lot of my blankets for the couch and all of that. Moving right into my tiny little kitchen. It's cute. I mean, it's an apartment kitchen what more can you ask for obviously it's not the most ideal kitchen for filming but it is a pretty decent apartment kitchen I've seen a lot of apartments where the kitchen is kind of in the corner and you don't have a view or a walkway I'm really lucky mine is like a circle so you can walk around it it leads to the hallway but like I said it doesn't have the best storage but I definitely like make do with what I have I have a ton of drawer organizers and I hide my trash and recycling down here so I don't have to see it or smell it. The rug is from Target. It's a kitchen, you guys. Like, this is where I make coffee every morning and have tea, and this is the bottle of wine I'm working on. Said I wouldn't do this, but here we are. We've got some mugs and glasses in there. I keep all of my tea from Sip Spy in here. We've got a sink, some shot glasses. Keep all the good stuff up there. I started collecting during quarantine, literally quarantine, I started collecting all of my white wine bottles over here and my reds over here. I've gained quite the collection. We've got the fridge, a lot of storage up here. This is like a pantry stuff. I said I wouldn't do this and here I am opening all the drawers and stuff. Obviously it looks like a little cluttered but that's because it's a tiny kitchen and there's just a lot that I have to fit in here. What's really awesome about this tour though is that just this morning I got this new stove delivered. So the old one in my apartment you may have seen in old clips. Super old, super loved. It was dark black and like covered in stains. Very rusted. Could not use the under stove storage. Like nothing. And then a couple days ago that old stove 
stove just decided to stop working and it wouldn't heat up. It was leaking a gas smell. So when maintenance came to take out the old stove and bring me in a new stove, they told me that old stove was from the 70s. It's as old as my mom and it was in this apartment. It was actually working for a long time considering how old it was for being like a kitchen appliance. But this is so exciting because now I have a beautiful, clean, brand new white stove. It has five burners, which the old one only had four. I'm so excited to use it. I've already taken advantage of my new storage because the old stove was so disgusting I could not use this for storage. I know this isn't a fruit basket, but I just need a space for fruit. I also need a space to store this container as well. I don't have a place to store this. I just picked up this utensil container from Target. I've been eyeing it ever since I saw OK Baby on YouTube purchase it. I was like, I can't, I have to get it. It's so cute. Moving right along to the hallway. Hi, Marnie. I got this rug probably off of Hay Needle as well. I've got a little decor wall, so I really wanted to have this sunflower painting right in the middle. The first thing that you look at and what makes it super special is that my grandmother painted this and after she passed, I framed it. It makes me feel like I brought a piece of her with me to this apartment and that's exactly what I needed. So she's with me every day in this hallway and it makes me really happy. Hi! I also shared this in my Amazon favorites video, but on this side of my hallway, I have this macrame decor thing, and the reason it's here, there's a purpose, is because it perfectly hides the utility box back here. If you're looking to try to hide that box in your apartment or house, look for a macrame wall decor hanging thing because it literally covers it perfectly. I almost didn't show you the best part about this hallway. Are you ready? So when you walk in, one of the first things that you see in this apartment is Luna. <laughs> so it's not actually my cat Luna, but it does look just like her. I thought it was just perfect because it fits like turning the corner. And this really is the cat corner. We have a little scratching post, which is loved dearly. As you can tell, another scratching toy, all of their toys. They literally come in here and pick out a toy to play with. It's the cutest thing. And then sometimes Marnie will sleep in there. I know it's a dog bed, but my cats don't know that. And it's a comfy bed, so they use it. Here we have the bathroom, my office, and the my bedroom. Let's take a quick peek into the bathroom. We won't be spending much time in here because it's a bathroom, you know? I am very lucky to have a ton of storage in this bathroom, which is so great to have. We've got this canvas from Urban. I really love it. It says peachy. It's pink. It's cute. Matches the aesthetic in here. And then I also picked up this canvas from Urban to go along with the peachy theme, you know? I think it's so cute. If you're going to have a butt in your apartment, the bathroom is a great place to have it. I also have a ton of under the sink storage as well which is so nice to have and then another storage compartment back there because hey I have a lot of products okay these sh floating shelves are from urban I really really love them they come in like light wood dark wood white and black I believe and then I just store a lot of the products that I'm using or bath bombs or little diffusers and candles for baths one more thing I wanted to show you in this bathroom is my new skin fridge so if you're confused because about a month ago I showed you a different skin fridge I still have that skin fridge but if you also remember I was concerned because the other skin fridge was really small I couldn't fit a lot of products in here here. So when Astro Al reached out asking if I wanted to try one of their mini fridges, I thought it would be a great opportunity to try a bigger size. I went with the nine liter just to see if I would like it. I want to show it to you real quick. Obviously, I still haven't purchased like a little table or something to put it on. So it's just on the box that it came in. But this is the nine liter white mini fridge that they have. The big reason why I wanted a bigger skin fridge is so that my products could stand up without just being all on its side. The other skin fridge didn't fit these face masks. These were too big for it and the jade roller wouldn't fit in it as well. So I like that about this. It comes with a shelf, but I can't have my products stand straight up if I use the shelf, so I took it down for now. I think it's really great. It's really, really big, and it gets really cold. I haven't decided if I absolutely love it in my bathroom. I might actually put it in my living room. You can fit a lot of beer cans in there, so I might do that and then bring the smaller skin fridge back in here, but it's a wonderful mini fridge. I really, really love it, so thank you so much for sending it to me. I'm going to link that product down below. I think that's enough bathroom time in this vlog though, so let's move on. I got this from Goodwill, but I know it's from Target originally. I just found it for like $5 instead of $40, so I really like it because it kind of matches the frames in my bathroom, and then when I'm in the, the mirror, I can see that frame next to my peachy and butt frame, and it kind of goes with the aesthetic. So moving on, should we do the office first? Since you're right here, are you ready to show us my office? I think so. Let's do it. So here we have my office. I am in love with this room. 
If you've been on this channel for a while, you remember that back in March, I actually did a 24 hour room transformation video transforming this office space literally the week before Corona hit. Like we all remember March 13th being the day. I think I finished this like March 12th. So it was right at the end of the world as we knew, but I'm gonna link that video above as well as down below. So if you enjoyed my bedroom makeover transformation, you would definitely love my office transformation because it is a 24 hour challenge and we succeeded. So let me show you what we did. So if you've seen that video, then you probably know all the details of this room, but a quick summary. Right when you walk in, this is just storage. If you watched my last video, I'm giving away a lot of the clothing pieces from Opali that didn't fit me. And then I keep a lot of boxes to reuse to ship out items to you guys in. So that's why that's there. It's not the prettiest, but it is what it is. We have my scratch off map for all the places I've been to. These really cute hooks from Urban. I don't know what to put on them yet, but they are adorable. The cat's litter box is in this room. It's actually completely fine because I have two huge windows in here and I usually have them open all day. We've got a lot of plants that love that window. This is kind of storage. I have this Minneapolis frame that I love. This is where I store my filming lights, my merch, and any items that I might need to show in a video soon. We have my college degree, some more plants, a cat. This tapestry is from Urban. It's like a rose gold in real life, and I really, really love it. It's so pretty. I actually flipped this mirror. It was left outside of my apartment by the dumpster. So last summer, Tyler and I sanded it and painted it, and it's like a brand new mirror, but it's so cute, and I really love it in this space. Obviously for an office, I need a ton of storage. Here we have all my technical things that I use. This is where I store extra journals when I need them, some sip spy boxes, fabric for sewing, which I never do, things for future videos that I need to show, and then more adulting stuff over there like for taxes and all of that. Here's my YouTube planning calendar. I showed this a little bit ago. This is where I plan out all of my videos for the month, you guys. So you're getting a little sneak peek of September. We've got some plants, but this is here so that when I'm filming, as you can see, it's like really, really harsh lighting and that can be difficult to film in. So if I put that sheer curtain over it, it softens it and it helps. So something pretty special in my office that I wanted to show you is actually up on this shelf. So down here between these beautiful butterfly bookends, we have all of the YouTuber books that I've bought and read over the years to help support other creators and kind of learn their stories and how far they've come since YouTube. You probably recognize a handful of these creators up here. This is one of my old YouTube cameras as well. But up on the second shelf is my own collection of my own publications and writing pieces that I have. So all of my published writing is up there. There, and then other YouTubers writing is down here. Ever since I was in high school and I knew I wanted to be a writer, I always knew that someday in my house I would have a bookshelf dedicated to my own published pieces. So that is just super special to me that I have all of those literary journals and articles, poems, essays that I've been able to get published right there as well. And I love having a home office just dedicated for that creative space. Something else a little sentimental over on this wall are all of my badges from VidCons and Playlist that I've been to from this side of my desk. This is where I edit, do most of my laptop work. As you can see, we've got my laptop right here, a notepad, memory cards, anything I might need to be creative. And then, hi, are you sunbathing? We've got my journal with all of my to-dos and then any product that I need to promote on social media. I'm sure you're familiar with Sip Spy because they freaking spoil me and send me a new box at least once a month. Sip Spy is a monthly tea subscription. If you're a tea lover like me and you wanna try new teas, they have these little monthly tea boxes that you get. This is my September tea box. They send over four new teas to try and usually four packets of that new tea. So I've got white peach, turmeric glow, blood orange herbal tea, and then this black tea back here as well. So I'm really excited to try these. If you have never tried Sips by before and you want $5 off of your first box, definitely use my code Michaela5 for $5 off. Now moving on from my office to my bedroom. <laughs> I may need to invest in a cameraman, you guys. This tripod is um, it's quite the arm workout here. This might be the room that a lot of you are most familiar with if you found my channel through my bedroom makeover video. So I won't go into too much depth because I'm sure a lot of you remember everything that I did in this room, but I did still wanna show you my bedroom, of course, because it is such a happy place for me and I love how it turned out. So this is an overview of my bedroom. 
Right when you walk in, we have this fan, which I really don't have to use that much anymore now that it's September, that's why it's pushed back. We've got my air purifier, my guitar, this is where I keep my sunglasses, beach hat, my laundry hamper, I really have to do laundry, it's the end of the week, you guys. Dresser is from Ikea, the knobs are from Menards. The tapestry is from Urban, I really, really love it. Random plants that don't really have a home yet. Yeah, I feel like you guys are very familiar with everything in here, but this is just a big overview of it. The plants are still thriving. I'll just mention a couple of the bigger items items like the rug is from Amazon, the nightstand is from Ikea, the bed is from Ikea, bedding's from Ikea, headboard is from Hay Needle, moon posters from Ikea. I have two of these macrame plant hangers, one in this corner and then one in that corner. Both of them are from Amazon and then also the plant hanger in my office and living room are from Amazon as well, so I'll link that. That plant hanger is from Amazon too. We've got my dream catchers over there. A ton of plants enjoying this window. Look at them, they're so happy, I love them. This is where I charge my crystals on full moons, so that's why they're by this windowsill. I've got this cute little nook with extra blankets and pillows, my mirror, bookshelf. You guys, I feel like you're pretty familiar with this. But yeah. This is my bedroom. Not gonna lie, ever since I transformed my room, I do sometimes do a ton of work from bed. I know it's not the best for you mentally. They say to only sleep in your bed, not to confuse your brain, but it's just so cozy, how can you not? I am really, really happy with my bedroom. In fact, like I mentioned, and like you've seen, now that my whole apartment is completely furnished and done, I'm really, really happy with my living space. I feel like it's me. It's everything I could have hoped for at 25, honestly. I mean, maybe like a husband and kids, but I'm not there yet, let's be real. Maybe at 30. <laughs> so yeah, that is my entire apartment. I really hope that you enjoyed this tour. Let me know if you have any questions. I tried really hard to tell you where most of my items were from, and if not, I do have that other apartment tour that takes you into so much detail of everything. Highly recommend watching that. If you're curious about my plant babies, I have my plant apartment tour, and then my Amazon favorites video takes you through like every single room and tells you what's from Amazon, and it's surprisingly a lot. Don't forget to buy your own long-lasting preserved roses from Rose Forever down below with my coupon code as well as check out the mini fridge that I mentioned sips by and honestly like anything else it will all be in the description box don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment down below as well as subscribe I always shout out the first comment on my social media so be sure that you have the bell turned on and follow me on Instagram and snapchat so you do not miss an upload and so I can shout out your first comments with all that being said Love Island is on tonight so I'm gonna go make dinner and get ready to watch that I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys next Thursday with my new video. Bye! I was so hurt and upset that I never gave him another chance.